State and local officials came together today to address a growing problem of infant sleeping deaths. The issue has made headlines here in Rhode Island and nationally. And now we're learning more about the steps being taken by local agencies to make sure everyone is educated about safe sleeping habits. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke is live in our control room now with more. Abby. Caroline, from 2012 to 2016, there were 36 infant sleep deaths in Rhode Island, a number the Department of Health says is way too high. Monday's children's cabinet meeting focused on an urgent topic, safe sleep. We see this in all shapes and sizes. It crosses the boundaries of race and ethnicity. We see it with young parents. We see it with professional parents. So it really is an issue that knows no boundaries. DCYF Director Trista Piccola says just three weeks ago, there were two co-sleeping deaths that happened within one week. They died because their caregivers put them in unsafe sleeping conditions. And again, it's not a DCYF issue. Uh, families across the state have had experience with this, many of whom have never been known to the department. Picola says co-sleeping habits extend beyond this state, and it's now a national issue because no one thinks it will happen to them. That is what's most troubling. Uh, I've talked with parents who've had a, a death by co-sleeping or uh, unsafe sleep. They didn't think it was going to happen to them. DCYF is working with hospitals and DCYF offices to make sure everyone receives training on safe sleep and are hoping to get a unified message out to the community. People look at an image of a baby sleeping on a, a mattress by themselves and someone said it during the presentation, it looks very cold, um, but actually what we want to paint a picture of, it's very, very safe. DCYF says up until a year old, infants should sleep in a crib alone on their backs for every sleep, including naps, because close sleeping is a risk that's just not worth taking. Live in the control room, Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.